Cheers, darling. Does wine and cigarettes, do wine and cigarettes go together for you like Romeo and Juliet or like cheese and crackers? Well, here's the thing. If you've been trying to quit smoking, but the wine and cigarettes are, well, when you've tried to quit smoking, the um, drinking wine or, or it has become a problem for you or you always go back to smoking when you drink, um, there's probably a couple of mistakes that you are making that you can easily correct so that you can consciously uncouple the wine from the cigarettes. Okay. So my name is Rita Black and I am a clinical hypnotherapist and I am the creator of Smoke Free 123, which is an online smoking cessation program with hypnosis. Um, I am a smoking cessation specialist and I am most importantly a former pack and a half a day smoker. And I used to drink wine and smoke a lot of cigarettes at the same time. And I did think that wine and cigarettes were the same thing. They were kind of just, you know, two peas in a pod, so to speak. So one of the first big mistakes that I see clients making all the time, or, you know, when they come in and say, I've been trying to quit smoking, but the wine, and then I go back to smoking. And because I miss it, I miss the smoking. So what we need to do when we are going to become a non-smoker, to begin, this is like, the big definition here is becoming a non-smoker rather than being a smoker trying not to smoke. Because when we're a smoker trying not to smoke, what happens is we take away the cigarettes and then we're afraid to drink wine because we think we're going to want cigarettes um, when we drink wine. But when we're focusing our mind on being a non-smoker who enjoys a glass of wine, our mind will start to adapt and see it from a different perspective. But if we're focusing on the deprivation, then we are going to only see that cigarettes should be part of this picture. Does, I hope that makes sense to you. So because here's the thing, um, the, the second mistake you make is you'll drink wine and then, but you're focusing on the fact that there should be a cigarette here. So you become a victim of cigarettes uh, because you're drinking the wine and thinking, oh, mm, oh, if only I could have a cigarette with the wine. Now, when you become a non-smoker, for real, what happens is you need to start living your life. You can't be a hermit in a cave, not going out and being social, not drinking wine, or if you enjoy wine, and if wine's not a problem for you, I'm assuming it's you just enjoy it socially. See, when we smoke and drink, what happened off, it was happening often around the wine is that we are enjoying ourselves. We're out with our friends or we're coming home from a long day and we're having a glass of wine and the cigarette becomes a part of this relaxation process that the brain associates with smoking and wine. But when you begin to become a non-smoker, you can come home and have your glass of wine or go out with your friends and order a glass of wine as a non-smoker. There are millions and millions of people who enjoy wine as non-smokers. So I know once you change your perspective, and this is all about changing your perspective, you can begin to be one of those non-smokers who absolutely enjoys the smell, the aroma, the taste, the texture, the whole ambiance of wine, enjoying a good friend and a good conversation with a glass of wine, enjoying a good book and a glass of wine. You can be have all of these things in your life as a non-smoker, the alcohol industry is booming. Less people are smoking. So don't, don't disempower yourself with a limiting belief that cigarettes give you anything other than choke you with smoke and actually take your palate away so that you can't even enjoy the really fabulous textures and different, different layers of flavor in a glass of wine. So a whole new world opens up to you around wine when you enjoy your glass of wine as a non-smoker. So cheers, darling. Um, here's to you. And if you would like to become a happy, healthy non-smoker, 
check out my freebie below that gets into removing the mental roadblocks that get in your way uh, when you try to stop. And have an awesome day and enjoy moving into your future as a non-smoker. I believe in you.